holds no fears for either them or their horses. Lovely Miss Holland riding the magnificent grey horse, the white coloured horse, Henry. And Miss Seabag Hathaway Montefiore White riding the brown and white, the skewbald, Basil. Magnificent pair they make, I'm sure you'll agree. Now our race will also require our lady competitors to pluck union flags from the hand. And there Miss Holland proves just that. Followed by Miss Seabag Montefiore as they leap over the bumps together. Look at that. A beautiful sight they make as the two horses go side by side. Bear in mind, of course, that Basil is much smaller than the uh, great Henry. And we also need to familiarise our horses with the grasping of the flags. You see our ground crew there stationing themselves in the centre of the red, white and blue bunting jump, ready to uh, offer up the flags to the ladies. An integral part of the race, we now want to familiarise the horses here. Yes! Well done, Miss Holland. Quickly now for Miss Seabag Montefiore, halfway away. Yes! Nicely done, look at Basil just stepping over the, uh, the red, white and blue bunting. you but uh, I can't imagine a finer sight. A lovely lady on a lovely horse clasping the red, white and blue of her empire colours. Now we're starting things sedately but it will get more exciting when we move on into the race itself. Just one more rehearsal here. The ladies to jump side by side, each grasping the flag at the same time. As long as the wind doesn't whip it out of the uh, burly arms of our ground crewmen. Here they come side by side. Oh! Only one! Only one! Miss Holland! What is going on? The horse is obviously running into the wind, possibly distracting Henry there. Miss Holland wants to try that again. Oh no, she doesn't. Very well. Now then, our horses appear to be nicely warmed up. Charge towards the brush up and attempt to jump at the same time whilst passing a riding crop over. Can they do it? Yes, they can! Very delicately done, ladies. And they come forward a second time. Miss Holland wants her riding crop back. It's vital that the horses start at the same distance so they reach the jump at the same time. Oh, a slight fault there, but nevertheless, a round of applause for our two gallant ladies and their equally gallant horses. Now then, they have warmed up. Would you like to see the ladies race? Without, I've no idea what she's got in mind. I hope she's not going to plunge Henry into the lake to cool off. Lady Holland's fiddling with her buttons. Good, good Lord! What is she doing? She's taking off her coat and jumping at the same time! Oh, where one goes, the other follows. Good Lord, that's a course that I can see! I hope her fiancé isn't watching. He's not seen that much. The ladies are disrobed. Ladies, that's a scandalous display. It's Lord. Now, Miss Seabag is struggling manfully with her, uh, her corsetage. A veil across her face. And she can quit too. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a round of applause. Would you like to see them race? Yeah. Can you stand the excitement any longer? Well, in that case, we have to ask the ladies why you should cheer for them. Ladies, why, why, why should the ladies and gentlemen of the public, boys and girls, cheer for you? 